Here I can transfer my videos stored on my phone to the network storage I set up earlier. This is the best way of freeing up your phone's local storage. Una sa lahat, mag-subscribe muna kayo sa aking channel para suportahan ito. You may also join this channel as a member to avail of exclusive perks like priority in comments reply and early access or exclusive access to some videos for members only. You can also help fund some projects here by sharing super thanks. In this video, I told you that I created over 200 videos for this channel using only my Samsung Note 20 Ultra phone. After editing, I ended up deleting all the raw footage from my phone's internal storage. However, the finished product or the edited videos still occupy a lot of space on my phone's internal storage. I used to manually transfer all edited videos to my external hard drive on a computer, but that's hassle. Every time I need a file video, I have to access it from my external hard drive and do it on the computer. Then I decided to use the other SIM card slot on my phone for a micro SD card storage so that I could transfer most of the edited videos on it and free up the phone's internal storage. The phone's internal storage should have enough space for the system to work well, so you need to clear up space on it. After setting up a network storage for recording backup videos from my Xiaomi cameras, I discovered that I also have access on the network storage from my phone. Wow! When you open my files folder on your Samsung phone, you can see the various storage locations of your phone here. The internal storage of my phone is using up. 216 gigabytes of the 256 gigabytes capacity so that's only 40 gig sp space left and on the SD card I only put a 256 gigabytes micro SD card although this phone supports up to one terabyte SD card I already use up 141 gigabytes opening this uh, storage will show you my YouTube videos down here and here are my videos for, for this channel. By using an SD card, I can have easy access to my recent videos on the phone. Then there are also cloud storages here, OneDrive and the Google Drive. And finally, the network storage. Tapping this will uh, bring me to the location of my network storage which is an external drive attached to the computer in the house. Opening this requires the computer to be powered on and go online. There you can see my network storage. Stopping that will open my uh, file folders. At first, only the folder for Xiaomi camera videos can be found here. When I discovered that I could also access the network storage from my phone, so I created two other folders, one of which is the edited videos for this channel. If you tap any of these videos, it says downloading, but actually it's not downloading the selected video to your phone. It only creates links so that the video can be played on the phone. Now, if you want to get a copy or transfer a video from here, tap the three button menu at the upper right corner and select uh, edit. Select the video you want to copy or transfer. See this one. And at the bottom tab, select the appropriate action, then tap the back arrow. Let's say move. Then you tap the back arrow at the upper left corner and you can transfer the video to any other uh, storages on your phone let's say to the sd card select the destination folder and finally tap move here below And you can see here the uh, transferred video with uh, an orange dot mark, meaning it's new. Now, if you open gallery, 
you go to the folder that's uh, stb or high tech to buy then you look for that particular video that you have transferred there's the video on the other hand if you want to transfer video from your phone internal storage or from sd card to the network storage you follow the same process select the video from your phone story to say um the sd card then we'll go to the yt videos then the high tech to buy videos and again we'll uh, tap the three dot menu button uh, select edit then you see select the video then we'll go uh, we'll select the the video that we had transferred earlier here and let's stop move then going back to the uh, location of the destination we'll go to the network storage then you tap again uh, the network storage album look for stv videos and finally tap move here so it's transferring now and you can see here the video is back to the network storage you can see here the orange dot that says uh, that uh, indicates uh, it's a new video if you tap that it will again download the file but actually it's not downloading the file again it's just giving us a link to the network store here on the pc you can open the network storage you go to the drive the network storage here then you can see here the three albums or three folders and you open the HTV videos or high tech -tabai videos and here's the video that we had transferred go to this video if you want to know more about setting up a network storage where you can save backup videos from selected xiaomi cameras honestly i didn't know that i could use the storage also for other funds especially from my phone Normally, the process of setting up shared folder is to map the drive for it to be accessible to other devices on your network. But here, I did not map the drive for the network storage of my Xiaomi cameras. I just activated the Samba service on the router's admin page and enabled the SMB1 file sharing protocol on the PC. If you have your own thoughts about this, please share it in the comment section below. Thank you so much.